right, so, as you may recall, last night, <laughs> we were playing the game, and uh, I got abruptly kicked out, out of the game. And since last night, through various means, I've tried restarting it, um, in the hopes that I'd be able to get back to the perfect ship, and the really nice little multi-tool that we had <laughs> We had found um but it was not to be i've tried reloading i don't know like a lot of times <laughs> close to 20 now i think and and i've had uh done some tests and we're pretty sure it is just the same file not um, um not anything specific to the memory on my xbox or anything like that um so um, I am going to be restarting. That's the most practical thing I could do. I, I would keep the save file. Oh, I might do that anyway, because apparently I have a new game here. Um, in, in case I, I need to retrieve it for Hello Games. Um, the only thing is that I don't know how to retrieve it for Hello Games, so I'll just have to tell them about it. Um, but that's a definite glitch. On, on Hello Games part. And at least now I know it's definitely in the save file and um, not some particular other thing um, related to the game. So, oh well. Yes, yeah. Well, and it does seem to happen a lot with the gravitational planets. Like, um, I feel like, you know, you have the gravitational pl uh, thing going on. Um, you have the pirate thing going on. You have all the new items that relate to um, the um, sentinels going on. Because it seems like it happens on specific kinds of planets. Um, and then... Um, anything else, you know, if there's too many animals or too, but when you have a whole lot of activity going on at the same time, and I suspect that I was having the Gravitino balls and the pirates going on at the same time as I was trying to do something. And it just pooped me right out. And then it said, nope, this save file's no good. And, and that's when I said, boy, I sure wish we could access both save files. <laughs> that we would have a choice on this so that we, you know, because I'll bet you the restore point that I had previous to it would have been fine. But uh, that is not to be. And and that's just part of having a console. You know, if I had a PC, I'm sure that I could dig it through and find the file folder and just switch them out. But um, fare thee well on the, on the old on the old one here. Yeah, I, I, um, the thing is, we know eventually there's going to be another event coming, and I'm pretty sure that I, that is my last new, let's see, we got five, one, two, three, four, five, so there's Tenuti Junction. Uh, got five here, one, two, three, four, five, there's, uh, Freighter on Merriam. Oh, well, I might have a couple other saves, so, you know what? So I don't have 15 yet. So, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's start a new game. We'll save that other one in case, uh, they can tell me how to grab that file for them. Um, but I won't keep it forever. We'll just know that that's, uh, that's one I can let go of if I need to. And so, my big plan now is just to start over. So let's go to new game here. And we'll go into custom. And we'll do what we did last time, which is um, move forward into permadeath. Actually, let's take a moment. I'm looking at survival here, okay? And the reason I'm looking at survival because I want to know what the survival elements are. 
Hazards and health full. Yes, we want all of it, don't we? Survival difficulty challenging is okay. Scan and recharge. I might just leave that standard. Or we'll we'll do the full full one. We did the full one last time. We were okay. Standard or expensive? Boy, the <laughs> enemy strength challenging. I have to wonder with the enemy strength if that's also part of what's going on. Is is that um, that you know we had a whole bunch of pirates coming in like every other moment. Um, on that one planet, except on the first planet. So now I have to wonder if that's just part of the issue. I'm gonna disable this and then challenging. Well, if I do the challenging anyway, I might as well just switch it on over to permadeath. What it does is it cuts out um, all these other options. So you only ha have these higher options to choose from. So I'm going through and we're just putting it on the harsh is mean. Restricted is 500, harsh is 300. And and I have to say the 300 lets you uh, learn how to budget a little. Um, and then with this one, if you leave the tutorial mission enabled um, and you miss out on getting your shift, you end up having to do a whole bunch of things that you won't have your terrain manipulator, you won't have the hermetic seal. Um, so always make sure to disable your tutorial missions, especially if you're doing a permadeath challenge kind of thing. Um, otherwise, it's just going to be... It's not that it's too hard, it's that it's a different play experience. I, I am really wondering, it's either enemy strength or the hostile space combat, or our hostile... Um, um, foot combat. I mean, we'll leave it on, but uh, I'm guessing these affected how often um, things got poppy, you know. And so that may be the way to control. If you're having issues with pirates or whatever, and you're like, man, I hate this, which truly, if I weren't playing this uh, fugitive round, I would be like, nope, nope, nope. You know? <laughs> And I either put it on standard or minimal, because that's just no fun to me. Yeah, and the only way to find out if it's going to glitch us out is to, to try it, though. Because if it's going to glitch you out every time, you know, then that's something that Hello Game needs to know. Because um, that's, that's a problem for a player. So, yeah. Okay, so I think we've got it set up the same way we had it last time. Um, the where we arrive is going to be random, so let's take good thoughts about having a nice planet again, because we, we did pretty well with that last one. We just need a cave at the start and, and good supplies. And um, let's, let's take a long walk or a short one. Maybe we'll find a ship right away. Um, one thing we're going to do different this time, last time we went north all the time, this time we're going to go south all the time. And we'll just try a different direction, you know? Ooh. Well, I've kind of, I have not yet written them. I had to calm down enough so that when I compose it, I'm not, yard. hello game. Because I really, I really wanted that ship. That was a pretty, pretty little interceptor. Yeah. <laughs> I was... I don't get mad a lot, but when I do, I do need a little time to get my act together sometimes. Um, yep, we tried. Uh, 
And this included, you know, um, decaching the, the Xbox and, and turning off the power, having a friend try, you know, <laughs> all sorts of different attempts to get that file to work. No, it, it's not. It's, you know, Xbox is awesome because it's specifically designed for game. Therefore, it will play most games really, really well. Especially on their particular um, OS, okay? But, you hit issues like this where you can't really dig in and get behind and do some of the things that you could do on a PC. So, there's no going in and trying to find the file folder and moving the saves around and... There's, you know, there's just not, there's no modding the game, so, you know, you could try new things. It's just, this isn't to say I'm not satisfied with No Man's Sky, it's just that I'm saying. The weather is direct sunlight, so this is hot. Frequent sentinels, full, and... It's pretty, though. Alright, let's go grab these. Well, I'm not necessarily sure I want to do fire, but this is what we got. We're just going to start shooting a rock and start with getting our scanner situation going here. The one, one of the things that I learned, I know the guys don't scan, but scanning makes a big difference on what you can get. And so get your ferrite dust and get your carbon, but do eventually set up your scanner. And I haven't finished looking around, so... Um, There and there's some bushes there for carbon. I might be sure, okay. <laughs> All right, so just a second, let's take a look and um, um some. analysis visor and that's what allows us to do this in and carbon nanotube. Oh, that means I need more carbon. I love these these planets because the carbon on these planets is actually good. Because of these bushes. These random bushes are awesome. For you. A moment. I'm gonna go take a look at what's going on in this cave real quick just to, just to cool things down. Almost a cave. This one is definitely a cave over here. As I said that was almost a cave, but this is definitely a cave. Analysis visor. Right, that's right. That's what we were doing. That, and then let me break this. I don't know if you a little more fair right dust. As a reminder, this will give us 10% hazard protection, and this gives 10% hazard protection. So we already have something for our hazard protection, <coughs> just in case. 
And it does seem to me like, that, of course, after a certain point, you get used to how hazard protection kind of drops. Yeah. Ooh, we got copper with us. How nice. Right, I, I'm not scanning for the money. Scanning for the money comes later on a different planet when I have different modules. Right now, what I am scanning for are materials. Things to, um, that will allow me to know uh, what's safe to shoot, what is our secondary element, what has oxygen in it, what doesn't have oxygen in it, you know, that kind of thing. Secondary materials become really important in the survival. So, yeah, you might as well scan as soon as you can. Uh, you, well, exactly, like that rock had oxygen in it. This plant's gonna have something like maybe oxygen or carbon, uh, condensed carbon, you know, and it's just, uh, what a jungle this place is. Um, it's just helpful to know what things are. And we're gonna hang a little close to for a moment because um, um, it will allow me to gather up the cobalt and make some ion batteries Right, well, yeah, the, the oxygen plants become valuable because you need 60 oxygen to make a, a little 10% uh, addition to the life uh, support. The marrow becomes important because you can make a, a sodium out of it, but you need enough oxygen to make the, um, like, uh, if I'm building a portable refiner, I need 30 oxygen and one metal plating, so I need enough of that. And of course, you're gonna need um, um, copper to eventually make chromatic metal. So all of this becomes important. When working together, right? So I'm gonna be gathering up those marrow roots just for the sodium. Yeah, this is this is pretty generous with copper um, and the cobalt. So yeah, that's everything. I don't think I've scanned the marrow root yet. Let me, let me check now. Marrow root is yeah. I guess I must have. Marrow root is generally going to be just marrow root. It's not going to have a combined. So that's you know that's okay. But not everything has to be combined. It's just big. You are awesome, you know. Um, one strategy you can have now it wouldn't work so well here for like I, I'd have to go out to get any like carbon because there's no carbon here. But it's to shoot from the cave where you can see. Um, yeah, so there's yeah. There's a couple places we could go to try, but... Weapons depleted. Let me see if I can scan these. What could be this one, though? That one's just straight cobalt right there. Let's take a look at what, how we're doing here. Looks like we're doing okay. We've got a couple of these. Um, these little geodes, if you pop them, they'll give you extra whatever it is. I'm just gonna have like pure metal. All right, I'm gonna do some quick arranging. You know, actually looking at this food at the top as the survival thing might be the way to go. So I'm gonna bring this down here, and I'm gonna bring this down here. I'll reserve this for food up here until we use it differently. This became pure ferrite. Um, if I have to fix a ship, this might actually be very important, so I'm gonna keep it. Move the cobalt. I'm gonna switch them, switch those to 
together, and this will eventually become sodium, so I'm just going to stick it up here for a moment. And then actually, this over, this over, <laughs> it's like moving those squares in, the, in that little game there. There we go. All right, now, let's, let's keep accumulating. Actually, let's refresh our little pistol here. This multi-tool is important because it's your mining tool, it's your terrain manipulator, it's your, it's, it's your scanner, it's everything. So, it, it is your survival tool. And this, yes, I'm, yes. Beg your pardon. Beg your pardon. Um, I've gone ahead and come back up out here for a moment to grab some carbon um, and oxygen. Um, just, just on the end case. And I'm going to run a real quick scan since we can and um, take a look. Very cash. That's gonna, that is going to be a hazardous flora, which is oxygen. There are like three kinds of hazardous floors, snappers, whippers, and boomers. This is a snapper. All right, we're gonna step away from it. Unidentified carbon plant right there, so we'll go ahead and grab that. Identified mineral, too late. All right, got it. little spiders, you know, rock spiders. I've, I've sure hit a few more of those than I have in the past. What I'm gonna do is uh, take a look at how much. Uh, ooh, I got a goodly amount of ferrite and cobalt, so I'm gonna start making a couple batteries here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. That is a nice start. All right, so now I have, um, I only have 22 oxygen. 
I'm going to have to wander around and find some more oxygen. So what I'm going to do here is, is we're going to use this uh, little cave as sort of a central area and walk around it. Um, I don't want to... Um, I don't want to go too far just yet. Because survi the survival side of this, I mean, I don't have to, to run to get the... Um, and the only thing I, I have to do is not go to my old ship. So we're just going to take advantage of the fact that we have a relatively safe place here and gather a few things. I'm going to try and get a 300 cobalt, 300 ferrite, 300 carbon, and, and a couple of life supports and that kind of thing. Yeah, we're just, the first part of the survival of the fugitive run is to get your uh, basics down. So that you can start making your way to the ship. Right now, there's this sort of grace period where there's uh, you're not so far from your own ship that the game has said, okay, you haven't found it yet, we're going to make it tougher. And so you might as well take advantage of it. Because the game does... Like right now, I haven't had a sentinel no bothering me. Um, but if once I start getting too far from my ship, or it's been too long, the sentinels will start showing up. Because this technically is the first planet, uh, and first planets tend to have that little time, uh, uh, that little bit of grief. All right. I'm kind of looking for just basic oxygen, though. Yeah, some of the rocks have oxygen in them. Um, it's just... I'm to get some sodium here. Some of the rocks have oxygen, some of the plants have oxygen. It's there, it's not not there, it's just... Wherefore art thou just basic oxygen, right? So what that means, essentially, is you gotta plan for certain things, you know. to the cave is basically like uh, free, free refills um, for a while, which is why I'm like, I'm coming back to the cave. Um, which is another reason that I'm, I'm doing what I'm doing. But now I have a little bit of dehydrogen, so I'm going to try and make, let's see, I got enough dehydrogen. I need 40. Which I do. So now I'm going to make um, make a gel, and then I have enough carbon, I think, just barely, to make a life support. There we go. So now I have a life support. So I already feel much better about my circumstances because my life support is at half now. You know, so. The problem with walking around is that it uses life support. Well, because you're breathing heavy, right? <laughs> As you're walking around. Is what the implication is. Um, and this uh, character, you know, you don't necessarily walk-walk. You know, you know how we, if there's no saunter, there's no relaxed walking, there's sort of a hustle walk going on all the time. So, <laughs> which is good for a survival situation, but kind of funny from a realistic point of view. Uh, but it explains a little bit about why the, the life support goes down. You know, so, so there's that. Take a look at how much copper we've got here. We have, oh, we have 72 copper. That's enough to make a little bit of... My 
weapon charges. Oh, and I am completely out of carbon. Oh no. Better go get some. Okay. Yep, I do. There's loads of plants around here. The nice thing about this is there's loads of plants. Feels so tough shooting. Alright, I have 52, so that's giving me 43%. Just having 52 um, just makes a difference there. Just that difference. We got plenty of these carbon plants around here. Now, in, in the regular play, these bushes are worth tons of carbon more. I mean, just a amount. In this, it's like they're 42, which is still quite a bit, but. You know, <laughs> not as much as that maybe I would like to see happening, but more than nothing. Now, what I'm going to prioritize with the oxygen here, aside from my life support, is I'm going to prioritize making the refiner first, and then I'm going to prioritize putting in that uh, ten percent health. Uh, so that's basically my big giant plan here. I am. Can levels stabilizing. Yeah, well, she may. Yeah, our weather here is like right now, it's getting really cloudy. Very dark. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> yep, so, all right. What I am gonna do here? I'm gonna take a look here. What I got? Uh, I'm. I am not keeping this um, platinum. Well, I might keep it for a moment. I'm gonna see if I have enough to make. Um, yeah, to make one nanite, I guess, is basically it. And we're going to see if we can make the personal uh, portable refiner. I have enough oxygen, so I just need metal plating now. And this portable refiner is awesome, but you got to carry it around, so you'll need to make sure you have a slot for it. Let's make the marrow root for first. And all the sodium makes a big difference. So even though it's 55, it's one to one. So it's, it's uh, with the sodium, if you have uh, 55 marrow, you're gonna get 55 sodium. And so um, it doesn't take too long. The time process uh, will tell you, it looks like it takes about a second per marrow. So, so if you have 150, it's going to take a little, you know, a little time. But maybe five. All right, now let's get that platinum set up here. Because a nanite is a nanite. And I, I don't even have enough nanite. It's 35 to 1. So we're just deleting that platinum that I don't know where I got it from. Must have been um, from the um, cobalt, though. Oh, I have 300 cobalt. Yeah, so I guess we're gonna... I'm gonna make a couple more... Um, life support here. Not life support, but... Um, Ion batteries. Oh. 
moment to see where we're at. I want to forget this. It was too expensive. Yeah. Just gotta figure out how to get out. There we go. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Ferrite. So I am going to go ahead and just shoot the rock here <coughs> for the benefits it will give me. Green ships right there. Those those are ships that fly over. Not terrible, but basically this is flyover country from the perspective of those kind of ships there. back into the cave, but I'm not going to dig anymore in the cave. Um, basically, I'm just waiting it to let the um, hazard protection get back in. And then we'll go back out, do some more. Let's see how much oxygen we've accumulated. I got 42 oxygen I need for the life support. Let me move do some moving around here. Um, let me try to do some around here. There we go. Put the hazard protection there, we'll put the life support over here. And then have the jetpack there. But for the life support, um, to, to fix it up, I need 60 oxygen. Let's see, I have 26 dehydrogen, so I need some more of that. I'm gonna look around for uh, more uh, like uh, the hydrogen, the hydrogen here, real quick. Um, that's why I'm rolling the scanner a bit more um, because it should show up. Like H is the hydrogen, and N is sodium, and O is oxygen. <coughs> and so, if you run the scanner, it'll look for. Um, for these items here that you need for survival. And probably as I, I do a little more running, you know, we're going to find more stuff. I'm going to go ahead and check this box here while I'm here. 
Ooh, I got an ion battery. And this will get me some rusted metal, which will come in handy. And right now I have room for it. Let's see, and that gave me some oxygen. I will totally take that. Oh, and it's a hydrogen jelly. Even better. <coughs> the boxes are worth looking through for supplies. You'll also get things like uh, things you can sell. Those I'm not so worried about. Because um, the truth is that I can start scanning for um, uh, like uh, salvage data and get that instead and start accumulating money that way. But uh, supplies are good to have. Back to the cave, get the free refill here. Okay, so I'm gonna make another um, life support. I have enough to do that, and I might have enough to make another one. The more life support you have, the more ion uh, batteries you have before you start, the better. I'm deleting the, the platinum, which again, I have no idea where I got that platinum from. It just, there, there it is. I'm gonna fit the... I might start walking. We have, we have two life support. We've got, uh, uh, 17 ion batteries. Let me, let me, um, I think, yeah, let's, that's enough to start walking with. <coughs> now, we're, we're, if I head north, that's heading towards the ship. So it must have heard me when we were plotting this out. So we're going to head south, um, and that will not take us towards the ship. So the ship is sort of north. And so we're heading south, because we cannot go to the ship. Because <coughs> that's the one thing um, that the future of run dis disallows. And I'm just going to shoot things along the way. Um, especially if it says something along the lines of oxygen. I'm still trying to accumulate 60 oxygen. <coughs> well, let's collect the sodium. Let's scan these animals here. There's a health box, another box here. Rusted metal, we'll take that. Okay. Ooh, I got a life support gel. So now I have three. How exciting. All right, we're gonna... Refill our hazard protection. I'm gonna go ahead and use um, an, an ion battery to start. This is kind of the exciting part when you're just starting out, you know, and, and just start to walk and, and oh, I just didn't know this. We're still close enough to our starting point at a safe distance to just grab what you can, so um, do that before before you start having to deal with the sentinels. You have about once you start moving away from the ship, you have about an hour, give or take. <coughs> So take advantage of that to get as much stuff as you can. Another life support gel. Yeah, I'll take that thing. More rusted metal. That's just security right there. Sodium. Take that. Geck Relic. I am deleting the Geck Relic because it's just filling my pockets right now. I don't need that. I'm going to go ahead and eat some of that Hephloid wheat. Oh, 
we're going to add in, we now have 71 oxygen, so we're going to add in that extra life support. This can make a big difference between life and death. So, um, do put it in as soon as you can when you're on permadeath. Because if you fall, it is the difference between landing on your feet and landing badly. booming noise there and you got the flyers over the head there's some in there unidentified at all but or maybe it was talking about this. every little bit helps we're at that every little bit helps The subterranean organic structure, that's going to be stuff over there. That's a pulpy roots, that's a hazard protection fire berry, that's life there. So let's, uh, let's keep walking here. Um, every planet has this uh, main food, like the fire berries are good for the hot planets, that sort of thing. Um, and jade peas, I think, I'm like uh, really, you know, iridescent kind of planet. Um, but each of those have a, a something um, that does the life support. <laughs> Alright, so let's, let's do the hazard protection. Let's bring that up a little. There we go. I'm not ready to use my sodium. I have plenty of, um, of life support uh, from the ion batteries and I can make more got a little cave here, so we might stop and pause there. Identified plant. More hydrogen jelly there. Or not jelly, but my brain is translating. It's just the hydrogen crystals. <coughs> Moving along. When the multi tool gets hot, and it does, it shoots for more, but it eventually hits a point where it says too hot to handle and it stops on. So that's something to stay aware of as you're gathering your materials. Doesn't change that now it's time to get it while the sentinels are not bothering you, but yeah. <coughs> and since there's a little cave here, I'm just gonna jump in real quick to get my free refill and my hazard protection. And that'll give me time to do the other thing that I need to look at doing, which is setting up my uh, terrain manipulator. So I need uh, two carbon nanotubes and one dehydrogen jelly. Fortunately for me, I have enough of the dehydrogen that I can make jelly and enough of the carbon that I can make the two carbon nanotubes. So we're gonna do that. There we go. And then it's gonna want, you know, some fuel, which we'll dig out. Um, our way up and that'll give me some fuel for the dream and he's like oh it comes in at 100 percent well that's nice i did not know that Technology yeah i'm gonna try it's just a hole here he's sometimes when you jump down into the cave and you're you're starting out your little life uh Jet here <laughs> may or may not get you to the top depending on how low to the ground the, the cave was and that's just something to be aware of okay so there's a snapper there that's oxygen an unidentified plant it says what do you mean it's unidentified
We'll say it's unidentified. So this planet has two snappers. Two snappers. Okay. All right. Yeah. Good to know. All right. That says a knowledge jump. Well, let's see where we're at. Let's see what kind of system we're at. Um, I could check my discoveries. It would kind of tell me, but this will. This is also a fun way of finding out. Well, where am I? And that's heading to, to or towards the knowledge stone. I am going to eat some of my little bits of food here, if I can. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I did have a deck relic that I picked up, but I deleted that. Um, but I've basically been getting some, you know, I got a little bit more life su support <coughs> and a couple more, um, um, a couple more, uh, ion batteries and, um, I am on a bike or in a Viking system, so, uh, Viking. I'm gonna start looking for things like damaged machinery and and just um, just looking around now with my head on a swivel for like um, um, you know unidentified uh, housing kind of situations that kind of thing. Now this feels like it's a big planet, but we've been seeing some jet you know like cargo drops and jettison pods so. It might be big, but it's well supplied, so we're doing okay. Yeah. And the caves are, are pretty solid, you know, we see them every couple hundred feet or whatever, so. Kind of taking my own advice and shooting the hydrogen while I can, you know. At the start of the game, uh, we have two uh, ways of movement. We have running, which is a sprint, and then we have flying. And the issue here is that the um, sprint, you know, takes um, energy, and the fly takes energy. And both of them um, come from kind of the same bucket, if you will. Um, Yeah, fireberries give a lot of life support. Um, they do, actually. In 
fact, if you, you look at it, the Firebird can, well, 5% life support, but it's still life support. So I'll take a couple here. So we're just kind of heading south here. Here, any? There's some copper over there. We might go stop over there. Mine science ferrite. I don't need that right away. Look behind us. Oh, there's some damaged machinery over there. That might be worth backtracking a little for. Um, just to, because that'll get us either nanites or modules. And modules in, in the early game can be very important. And it looks like there might be. No, it's just one. It's just a box. Too many blue flowers. And when I see them, I'll scan them and then I'll use them to fly. So this is our first damage machinery, and we have an equal chance. I think it's more like a one in five chance of getting a, a module. So let's see what we get. We got nanites. Nanites are good. Um, you know, on our last fugitive run, we got well over three thousand just doing that. So, so. It's handy. Right, and we'll start picking up our salvage data. We have we have enough room to just kind of work that plan there. So we got six slots that we can work with. I barely took any, so I'm just gonna delete this. Then. In fact, I'm gonna take a moment. We're gonna add to. Why? Since we have some. So, there we go. really seen oxygen plants. Well, there's another damage machinery, but now, oh, oh, there's a lander. The truth is, he's landing, but I got nothing. <laughs> I just barely got some salvage data that I can maybe save. So let's, yeah, I'm going to try. I'm, I'm running, but my run isn't very good yet. Oh, he's, oh, oh dear. That was as poor a landing as you can get. I am going to help this ship out. Because um, I can. Since I refill my um, hazard protection here. He is very, very stuck. <laughs> Yeah, technically it's to look for the van, but but I'm gonna call it healthy because this is that is some stuck little machinery there. Well, yeah, we can scan the ship, and this is a 10 million shuttle. 10 million, but it's big. You can see it's gonna be 10 million. You know, what we'll hope for is one of the five million shuttles. 
might be able to trade for this one. Yeah. Man, I don't know why it's not letting me just Alright, well, something's going on. I thought that'd be right, so I'm just gonna let it say good luck, sir, and I'll like it from there. Yeah, you'll be able to get out now. I would hope someone would help me if I was stuck in the mud flats, you know, or whatever. Everything and get life support. I am batteries around here. That's the subterranean relic. It tells me there's caves around the area. There's a buried technology module. There might be damage. Looking kind of outdoor cavesy there. Um, no, it's it's just gone. Ooh, but there's a fire barrier. Get the info there. Okay, we're gonna. I'm not sure what to do about this because this is. Um, I think we're gonna have to walk around it. Hill uh, here. It's so big. Okay. And that's a long way down, so I'm just gonna. And a long way back up. I mean, look at this. This is this is the biggest outdoor cave I have ever seen. Alright, let me grab some cobalt since I have used some. Not much, I'm just I that was purely symbolic on my part. But. Yes. There I can get high right there. bit of rock here, but not a lot. I actually have quite a bit. In fact, I think I'm going to make, um, I am. I think I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna worry about shooting the cobalt because we actually have quite a bit and I think means, you know, we'll find another cave. But now we have 20 um, ion batteries and six life support. I'm feeling pretty good about that. I, I, I don't have a lot of carbon anymore because of that. 
So we're gonna go ahead and come on out and we'll shoot carbon along the way. See that's heading back to the ship. Well, it's kind of nice that the ship is buried definitely north. <laughs> I know exactly that it is definitely north. Alright, let's see. Do we have any rock here to scan? And our first unknown building. Shall we go take a look? A lot of the hydrogen in the rock, so that's kind of actually really nice to know. Depending on where you're at, you know, you might need it, so. Oxygen over here. And I'm walking so slow that I'm actually not getting um, quite as struck by snappers as I often do, so. And plus it's nice. It's sparse enough on the ground yeah well I, I don't know that I can because it's over the hill and produce leather. Sodium. Even better. Alright, we'll take advantage of the fact that we got some and just put it in. Alright, now we are looking for that. Which looks like there's a minor settlement, um, you can... Oh, 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 we were back. You know, after all that talk, <laughs> I was about to run right into it. That's because I was running. <laughs> oh. There we go. Yep. My focus was on that beacon, you know? And then we've got our first, um... The high, uh, deuterium plant. Now, back in the day, deuterium was necessary for a many, many things. Now you just get to fly. I'd have gone farther, but then I saw the carbon. We haven't seen too many of these. I'm gonna go ahead and what we're we're gonna go ahead and go down to the beacon. We're not gonna run it, but um, I do want to get it so that the icon will come up. Um, Gamma protection falling. Sorry, I had to grab a little bit of water there. Right now we're gonna walk slow because that got me. Actually, we'll just take a pause here and put in some good stuff. So if I can tell my life support, I still love you. You're still important to me. Ooh, look at all this stuff here, though. Got might get some jelly out of this, or a microprocessor. We'll take that. Yeah, you need at least five microprocessors for a hyperdrive if you get a crash ship. And so since there's like an equal chance of crash shippedness, is that a word? Then yeah, we want to do that. Okay, so I do not need to collect any more um, uh, rusted metal. I have 300. That's just note to self, kind of. 
Ooh, and that gave me an ion battery. I'll take that and use it immediately. Now, I can't get the sodium nitrite. You know, I was able to get the um, uh, condensed carbon, but sodium nitrite's a little too hard for my poor little uh, pistol right now. Melt. So, we'll just have to do it out. Nope, not a single bit. Which is a shame. Because, you know, sodium nitrite's actually kind of awesome to have on hand. Because if you find a drop pod, which I tend to do find, I tend to find them. Um, they allow you to um, access some of the drop pod um, options. Nifty later. I guess I'm gonna have to dig. So. There we go. Sir, ion battery that we just got. Walk in, walk in. This, you know, it's it's been kind of a nice little. For a hot one. Sodium and grab that. See how much the hydrogen I have now, because oh yeah, <laughs> we're definitely grabbing. The first little bit of the teacher run can be a little grindy. I mean, if, if, and this is, I admit, a bit of hubris on my part, but if you treat it like uh, I think it ought to be treated as a kind of part survivalist, part, uh, part finder ship, you know, um, there's no reason to run, run all the time. Especially during that first hour before the Sentinels start getting kind of cranky at you and showing up wherever you go might as well enjoy the grind is what I'm trying to say get as much of everything as you can Bye, Deku. Come on, Macho. Under that for a little while. Alright, I now have four slots that I can uh, use here. I think we 
what we're gonna do. I, I'm gonna try and look for a cave that's not a uh, hole in the ground. Um. Protection falling. Got uh, 124 oxygen, 206 carbon. Just keep on shooting it then. And what happens is, like, um, the dehydrogen and the carbon goes quick because, um, the hydrogen, you need uh, 40 of them to make the gels, and then you need carbon to make the life support. That's, that's why you need as much as you can get. It's been raining here, so... Extreme heat damage detected. Technology recharge. Okay, now if you, if you let your hazard protection go down to zero, you have to use two ion batteries instead of one. And actually, if you let it get down to 20%, you have to use two ion batteries instead of one. So that's kind of why I tend to, um, when it's about halfway or like close to three percent, I try and put it in. But if I'm not paying attention, which I kind of wasn't at that point, then um, of course it can get get me. That's why I had that moment of uh, out. This one, in the sense that it's not as grassy as some of the planets that I've been on, and so I can see things a little better. But um, I will admit, it's it's kind of sparse. I mean, oh, and there's our first sentinel. We are now officially far enough away that the sentinels have woken up. And we've officially been playing long enough. So, fun time for everyone. Yep, everything will be a little bit harder, a little more challenging. They'll start popping up at the time you want to do something very specific. <laughs> What you doing? Why you doing that? And sir, that was a no-go, you know? <laughs> or madam, sir, or madam. Yes, I am the traveler. I will be so excited to get a module of some sort, even if it's a... Uh, Hazard protection, I said it'll just be 
Give me a little more breathing room. I sometimes feel like we run and pant, run and pant. Ooh, is that copper? That is copper. And is that a cave? No, that's not a cave. But that is. We might have found our pause point here. It looks like there's a cave over there, yeah. Looks like there's a bunch of cave over here, so... I don't know, let's, let's see. It is a market. Oh. Well, that's not so fat. Now, I'm just gonna go stand near to it, and the chance, not, I'm not gonna turn it on or anything, but uh, this will allow me to get the icon so that uh, next time it'll say it's a kind of item it is. Apparently that's called a repository. Sodium and carbon. That's very nice. I wonder if that's an underground animal. It does not fear death, forage leftovers, monster spawn. Here we are. Let's take a look at what we got. Oh, we got plenty to let's let's make some um hydrogen jelly. We'll make two, I think. Got a storm crystal and some salvage data. And I think what I'm gonna do is we're gonna refine the copper that we do have and get some chromatic metal here going. We can make a little base. Because one of the rules of the fugitive game is you can make a base in a um, in a cave. And that will act as our save point. And we should have enough. Offer just enough. I have to have 30 and we'll have 40, so. Right, you don't, you just make the base, you don't send it anywhere. You need to claim it. But you, we're not going to build a building or anything. And there's plenty of light, so I don't have to put, like, a plant down or anything like that. Light. Well, when you get certain objects, you can establish a base. And in fact, I'll, well, do... Well, that was what I was thinking I might do. You get more copper and just, um, since we've got the chromatic metal now. Now I have 10 chromatic metal left. Alright, so we're gonna go in here. But that's why I want to go back to that copper pile, um, when I get back on. Keep it cool. Okay, so we're claiming the base so that we have a save point. Okay, so that gives us a save point. All those trees. This is actually pretty. Yeah. Alright, so there's that. And now, if I go in under the build menu here, find the right thing here. Where is the build menu? There we are. Okay, so that gives me access to wood paneling kind of things. I can make a floor and a wall and a Roof, but I'm not going to do that because that starts the storms. It gives me the floor containment unit, which is the plant to put into your house for light. And then it gives you a light, which is useless because you can't 
turn it on because there's no power. That <laughs> I'm just saying. It says it's a low energy consumption light, but it does absolutely nothing because there's no power until you get a power station and then a flag. So I, I think that was, you know, they meant for it to work without power, but it does not happen. So that's all I'm saying about that. Or it could just be a joke because they think they're funny. They have done that kind of thing before, yeah. All right, so let's do this. That gave me a little more cobalt. So let's do this. There we go. All right, well, I think we're in a pretty good place. Um, yeah, as long as I don't start building, we should be all right. So, um, I am going to say that this is where we're going to pause for right now. And we'll come back later and do some more running around, heading it south. And in the hopes that we're going to find a ship. We're hoping to find a crash ship that I can fly away or... Um, to get enough money that I can buy a ship or trade my little ship, um with a trader who, who flies by and lands. So those are my glorious plans right now. And uh, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day.